Hey everyone, Doc T here. Thank you so much for clicking again over this page uh, where I'm asking you to download this book, Equine Dentistry Without Drama, and we're dispelling the myths and we're going to explain the truths. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, a myth is nothing more than a belief system, a belief that um, uh, you believe that, that the sun rises in the east every day and that's the way it's going to be. But your belief is also that the sun is circling the earth and your, it, it's your foundation and then somebody comes along and says no really we're this uh, rock that's spinning all around the Sun and you're like I don't even understand how that's possible and yet after some time uh, delving into it you finally figure out that huh that makes more sense it explains the seasons explains the lengthening uh, and shortening of daylight uh, it explains a lot of things and so uh, once you get all the facts put together you can bet make better decisions and what I'm saying is equine dentistry is not all about the obvious it's a lot about the not so obvious in fact what's going on inside your horse's mouth as he chews 25,000 times a day is the creation of sore spots that forces the horse to move away from chewing in it in an unrestricted fashion and they start to alter the way they chew and the way they move their tongue and this leads to bidding problems it leads to chewing problems it leads to uh, unhealthy teeth over the long haul and finally at some point the horse screams ouch something in my mouth is hurting and by then it's been going on for a long time and that's one of the basic tenets of equine dentistry that I want to bring forward to you through this booklet so there's so much more in there. Uh, it's, it's going to blow your mind. If you're a horse owner, you're going to now know, after reading this booklet, more about equine dentistry than there's out there written. And it's based on thousands, tens of thousands of horses, 65,000 horses that I've personally seen and worked on since I started floating teeth in 1983, before I even left vet school. This is what it's all about. Now, if you're already an uh, equine veterinarian or you're already an equine dentist and you're curious, I welcome you with open arms. I want to get good dialogue going about uh, different ways and styles of doing it. Again, all roads lead to Rome. Not every road is correct or perfect, but every road will get you to Rome and we have to agree where Rome is first and then we have to look at the different paths of getting there and what is in the best interest of the horse and the best interest of you. So this is an open-minded thing. There are more and more people all across the United States and I'm sure around the world that are looking for a non-invasive, non-medicated, automatic medication, non-immobilization of the horse where people become horsemen, connect with, lead, and uh, become willing partners with a horse to achieve a goal where um, none of these other immobilization techniques including drugs are necessary. And I'm here to show you that it's possible. I do it every day all across this nation, day after day I do this. So grab this booklet, get the foundations and start there. It's a great place to start and I really look forward to you uh, sending me an email and let me know what you think. Thanks very much.